Power Shovel for the PlayStation 1 is a very unique game, and it's a game that the current generation of gamers uh, could never fully appreciate. Uh, for instance, it doesn't have online capabilities. Um, you can't yell at other people uh, with derogatory, snarky comments uh, over a headset playing this game. Uh, it's too challenging, and it's just too unique uh, for the current generation of gamers to 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 get to to, to understand, to be able to comprehend. Um, games like these are refreshing to play. And the game was made by Komatsu, which is a Japanese company. And what a surprise. A unique, weird, fucked up game made by the Japanese. When I first saw this game, I had to pick it up. Because it reminds me of construction workers. And construction workers are the coolest guys in the world. These guys reek of testosterone. These guys are muscular and... They are the perfect example of what a man is, and so am I. Of the girls I've had sex with in my life, every time I've gotten done, I've wiped my sweaty nutsack, my sweaty, flaccid nutsack on their bedpost and left my scent. Why, you ask? Because I'm full of testosterone, and I'm proud of that! There are many different scenarios in this game to experience, and they all have time limits. Uh, there's License King, where you're rated for doing things such as loading a truck, uh, filling in a trench, leveling a sand pile, and more, until you're given an overall rating. Uh, there's another mode with tasks such as knocking down wood framing, uh, loading trucks, digging a trench over a gas line, making a beam, and even weird things like bailing curry sauce out of huge vats onto giant food servings and scooping up live turtles out of a swimming pool. There's a lot of different levels where you'll just simply be destroying something. And the more you destroy, the higher percentage of destruction you get. And you gotta get to 100% destruction before the time runs out to complete the level. Power Shovel takes a lot of hand-eye coordination. Uh, moving this excavator and pushing all the proper buttons to, to move the shovel, to lift the crane, to get the proper amount of sand into the back of some of these trucks can be, it can take uh, a toll. It can be very pressuring on you. But after a while of practicing and getting used to the controls and getting used to the game, it can be rewarding when you finish these tests and get your licenses and master this game. The game is very challenging. The controls can be a bit of a nuisance at times, but once you get used to them, you, you get pretty good at this. I hate losing. If there's one thing I hate, I hate to lose. And I had to try over and over and over in this game. But again, like I said earlier, once you finally get it down and you start succeeding in this game, it's so gratifying. This is one of the more addictive, uh, addicting games I've played in my life. Which is weird to say because this is such a, such an odd game. I think in some ways Power Shovel could be considered a bit of a revolutionary game because simulator video games nowadays have become so popular and Power Shovel really was one of the first simulating simulation like games ever made. I mean this is basically an excavation simulator but only it came from the early 2000s. The small amount of time you get to complete a task can seem a little scant, but 
the penalties for making mistakes can seem harsh, and the foreman is always unforgiving and, and impatient. But again, this relates extremely well to real life scenarios. In real life, this isn't easy. These guys get paid the big bucks to do this shit, and it's because it's very important work. And this game is very realistic and true to the real life situation. In real life, you can't keep a truly good job or get promoted or seek higher paying jobs unless you're fast, but you must also work efficiently. In Power Shovel, the most obvious reward is money. The amount is based on the time taken to complete a task minus any property damage or spilling penalties. The less time you take and the less damage or spills, the more money you are awarded. This allows you to buy things such as music tracks uh, and other things from a separate menu. Um, successfully completing sets of tasks also unlocks more levels of the game. Both add to the experience and to your ambition to complete the game. At the end, it leaves you wanting more than is offered, but that's what great games do. I keep thinking that someone could top this game. However, there's no other simulator that offers this kind of fun. Some PC developers have tried, but in my opinion, they have failed miserably compared to Power Shovel. The soundtrack to Power Shovel is very jazzy, and it's very bluesy, and it's very upbeat, and it kind of gets you in that energetic um, uh, attitude uh, mood to play this game. Uh, the graphics of Power Shovel aren't great compared to anything newer, but Power Shovel delivers on the fundamentals of operating so effectively that you could actually use it to train real, live, breathing people. Yet, as a standalone game, I can't recommend this game enough. It may be the best video game you've never played. Um, Coming from someone like me that owns just about every console, but seeks out only the very best games, this shouldn't leave you with any doubt. But if there is, I have one last point to make. In games that offer the greatest challenges, it can reach a point where you feel like you are fighting less than adequate controls or cheating AI just for the sake of making the game harder. But this is not the case in Power Shovel. When you see room for improvement, it's because you feel like you can do it with skill instead of luck. Even the best games don't do this as well. In Power Shovel, the deed is truly its own reward. Or is it? Pick up the game at last and find out for yourself. Thanks for watching, my friends. Goodbye. Yeah.